And we're back again. It's your boy Jesus V, and today we're here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. You remember this stud from the last two videos? What's up, guys? <laughs> your boy Tom, and we have this Saturday UFC 264. Conor McGregor, one of the most iconic fighters in mixed martial arts history. Dustin Poirier. He really does want to be nothing but the best. This is a massive, massive event. The hottest ticket in UFC history. The king is back. Let's go. Tom, you're wow. a UFC fan, right? Oh, yeah. So the main event is Dustin Poirier versus Conor McGregor. We're both big fans of UFC. We've been watching the events. So we were thinking, like, I wonder what it takes to get in the condition and, and physical fitness to prepare for one of these matches. Like these guys are Some probably bad dudes, man. Like it's and it's shape. like five rounds, five, five minutes, minutes each. each. So we figured we would put a video together showing you guys some of the some of the drills, some of the exercises that Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor actually do in their training caps leading up to one of their fights. Some kick ass jump around plyometrics, some explosive shit. Some speed agility drills. I actually did some research, looked into Dustin Poirier's strength and conditioning coach. I believe his name is uh, Davo Strong. I follow him on YouTube, so I got some information there. I did some research on Conor McGregor, some of the drills that he does for his training camps. We're gonna put it all together. And uh, at the end of the video, we'll give you our predictions on who we think is going to win <laughs> the main event for UFC 264. McGregor for you. Let's yeah. go. Let's So as you can see behind me, we're here in McCarran Park. There's a ton of people working out and we're going to need the space because we're going to be showing you guys how mixed martial artists don't only train in the sagittal plane, which is just flexion and extension. If you're really trying to maximize your fitness, you want to be sure that you're training in the transverse plane, doing some rotational yep. stuff. You want to be doing lateral some movements, rotational movements, some athletic movements exactly. and other planes of motion. Exactly. We're going to be doing some plyometrics. Exactly. We're going to be working on some agility, yeah. just getting faster and stronger all around. So we're going to show you go-to exercises that we've seen that Conor McGregor and Dawson Poirier include in their training camps. Let's get right into Let's it. Let's get after it. Shuffle. I don't shuffle and reach. Working in the working in the frontal plane. So working laterally. As you know, when Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier are fighting, it's not always face to face. There's a lot of movement. You need to be able to change directions. You need to make sure that you're working on your fitness in all three planes of motion. So let's do it. Uh -huh. CJ, have you on that social? You know what it is. Your favorite rap is back out. Who that? Or only fans with his ass out. Yeah. Ah. Whooped it. Remix is a movie. Show me the box like Boosie. She jump off the vert like Uzi. For what? Blue cheese. Hunnis, Hunnis, blue cheese. Model face like Karuchi. Makeup like Jeezy and Gucci. I flow like Big with the Coogee. Swagged out. I'ma ride on them till that max out. Favorite rap back out. When that only fans with his ass out. You know I'm back with the sleazies. 
My neck full of Fiji. King of New York got a PC. Back on my bullshit. AR with a full clip. FDR with a new whip. Send it to DR for a new hip. We up on the ops like two zip. I'm Larry Davis on Webster. Got rid of weight like flex. Yeah, salt bay with the chef. Breaking bad with the meth. French McGregor with the left. Whoop there. Bitch, I'm outside of some movie. Huh. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I gotta stick to this paper like loosely. Bitch, I'm by my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back on my post. And this next one, as you guys know, UFC fighters need to be quick off the ground. So. We're gonna be doing sprinting right off of the ground. See how fast I could get onto my feet. Nice little short video with our guy Tom. We did some explosive stuff. We did some plyometric stuff. We worked in the transverse plane, the frontal plane, and uh, we did some explosive strength with the calisthenic pull-ups at the end. Some conditioning, bro. Some conditioning. And uh, now, before we close out, what's your predictions for Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier three? Ooh, good question. Damn, I know who's gonna win this one, but I wanna go with Dustin Poirier. All right, but why do you say that? Why do you think Dustin? Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, okay. Rear naked choke. Okay. I think he takes him down and does the ground game, bro. Okay. Okay. Uh, based on based on Conor McGregor's history and the excellent first round that he had in their second fight, I'm gonna say that uh, that Conor pulls it. Pull, I feel like Conor McGregor has a lot more to lose. Yeah, I see that. If he loses this That's fight, because he is probably gonna be perceived like he's just done. He's washed up, um, and he's too valuable of an asset to the UFC. And maybe I feel, they're poisoned, Dustin Poirier. I, I, or I feel, <laughs> I feel like, like he knows that. So um, I'm, I'm going for Conor in uh, by. By the second round, I don't know how. Hopefully by knockout. That's how. Third won. round submission. That's what I got, Dustin Poirier. <laughs> All right. So third round submission. That's Tom's prediction. I'm going second round knockout for my boy Connor. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you already know the drill. Like comment let us know your feedback below subscribe and most of all subscribe because we are still on the road to 1,000 subscribers and this beard is getting very annoying and I want to shave it it's very hot but as you know I'm not shaving this beard until we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark Tom thank you so much it was a pleasure bro and as always until next time your insecurities peace